We started Ember as being a disruptive restaurant. I'm not really traditional in many ways, but to operate a restaurant in the traditional manner was not something I was interested in. So when we opened Ember, we were disrupting. And I think that over the years, we have grown the restaurant of a worldwide reputation. And then after 14 years, we were like, well, how are we gonna rewrite the history? I think that do, to reinvent Amber, I wanted to really remain relevant and to be in a way disruptive again and to basically challenge the status quo of fine dining. I felt that we came to a crossroads within the industry where we are working on a depleted line of ingredients where we really needed to sort of rethink how do we see the restaurant business which has such a large carbon footprint in our society, how can we bring that into a much more responsible manner forward. We have seen over the past two years, three years, the challenges we're living in. And it sort of reaffirms, it refer, it reaffirms that we are on the right track, that what we decided to do, we really have to do. You know, that every single person on this planet will need to make significant uh, sacrifices in the years to come in order to safeguard the future for the generations to come. If you particularly see the pandemic we went through, which is all related to basically the pressure we're putting on this planet. Luxury has completely changed, in my opinion. I think the real luxury today is not necessarily uh, caviar or wagyu beef. In my opinion, the real luxury is going to a place where you're absolutely indulged and where you have, when you leave, you have a peace of mind that that operator was 100% conscious in every single decision that they made uh, running this restaurant. I think that is where luxury stands today.